Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can copy your Labable Design website to your WordPress website. So uh, I, I'm going to use a extension and, and uh, uh, plugins and which, which is uh, paid and uh, it's called Clone WebEx. So why I'm, I'm copying the Labable Design website to WordPress because Labable uh, isn't search engine friendly yet. So uh, I, and I know there is a lot of people who are you know looking for this kind of solution to copy their Labable Design website uh, to WordPress because it's easier to design a website in Labable just by uh, you know prompting or something like that. So. I have designed a website, uh, as you can see, it's in lovable URL. And uh, for myself, I've designed this uh, website. So, and, and now I'm going to copy the design. And for that, you have to install the Chrome extension of uh, what it does, it's called like so clone webex softile.io. It's an, uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of tools yeah tools they are selling so you you can uh buy clone webex which is a uh, basic basic plan is ten dollars you can copy 30 websites in a month and unlimited pages so i think it's a pretty good option to copy your design and it's it's very good at copy the design from here so first you have to create a uh create a new project so i have 28 left so you have to like give the name of this project and the domain uh, like this one, uh, lovable in this case. So it can copy the design from any website you can see. So I'm going to click on copy and then uh, for example, we're going to pass the source domain like this one. You, you are going to pass and then create the webs, create the projects. And I have already created the project, so I'm not going to create another. And and then after that, you are going to come here uh, in this preview of the Lovable Design page, and then click on the ex extension WebEx Clone WebEx, and then you are going to select it. For example, Editor Friend in, in my case, and then add, add this on the page. Click on Add Page and it will you know create a clone of this web of this design so you can copy any section uh from this page or if you want you can copy the entire page uh in a single thing so after you coming here you will see there is a link of their extension so what you're going to do is click on this link and then download the extension and upload it in your WordPress, and uh, and when you when you upload upload it, active, make sure you active the plugin. Then what you're going to do is ex click on export. Okay, so I'm going to click on export. Uh, it will take a uh, I mean few seconds to copy or the entire page, and. Uh, Oh, so it's copied and what I'm going to do is first let me tell you one thing you have to like first uh, come uh, you know change the setting of softile.io of this uh, plugin so it will you know automatically default it won't tick on this uh, clone WebEx pop-up uh, in page builder so what you're going to do is click and tick on these things and, and then click save changes. So I have already done this and, and then uh, create a new page. Uh, for example, in my case, I, it's a new website. So I'm just, uh, it's an home, I'm designing the home page. So I'm going to come here. So it, and then when you enable the tick mark and what you will see a pop up like this. So what it does is when you copy uh, the entire page, 
uh, and if you just paste it in here, if you just only paste uh, paste from other side, it will you know paste the whole design, but it won't you know give you option to change the uh, what I say like uh, the images. So it won't upload all of the images on your server. So if you wanted to upload all of your all of this, uh, you know, uh, images icon on your server, I mean, it's an uh, it's a best practice as well. So what are you going to do is click on this pop up clone webex. And let's say I I'm using uh, Elementor page builder, you can use uh, Gutenberg as well. So and I think like uh, Elementor is uh, work well uh, with this plugin. So and that's why I'm using Elementor. So I'm clicking on common V and then upload image icon and all these things on my server. And it will upload, uploading. Uh, we are going to wait a few seconds. Okay, it's already done this. So, and then I'm going to click on copy to the clipboard. Click on these things. Okay, it's done. Now what I'm going to click, pass from other side, and then common V. In the if you are in Windows, then click on, uh, you know, Windows V. Okay, as you can see, it's now copied all the design from uh, this. Labable design website. So let's check the responsiveness. For example, it doesn't. Okay. In few cases, for example, it, it uh, doesn't copy the things like YouTube videos. So we will have to, you know, manually upload, embed a video in here. So. So, so few section isn't uh, looking good in this case header. It's like uh, it's like everything messed up. But it's okay. We will customize it from here, right? So what I'm going to do is checking the responsiveness. Let's check on the mobile. Uh, I mean, it looks good. I feel like it's good. It's responsive, hundred percent responsive, and and see, uh, yeah, looks good. I feel like it's okay.